Jesus' answer? A. The tone frequency first becomes lower and then higher over time. The stirring and the blows of the spoon against the glass wall cause the wall, and thus also the liquid, to vibrate. In such vibrations, the product of the wavelength and the frequency of the vibration is given by the speed of sound and is always constant. The wavelength of the vibration of the glass is determined by its circular circumference. The frequency of the vibration, and thus the pitch of the audible sound, thus depends on the speed of sound in the medium in the glass. In liquids such as water, the molecules are bound more closely and tightly than in gases. This means that vibrations can be passed on to neighbouring molecules more quickly, so liquids have higher sound velocities than gases. First we start with pure water. When the sherbet powder is stirred in, it dissolves and forms many small bubbles. The medium in the glass is now a mixture of liquid and gas and has a lower sound velocity, so the sound also has a lower frequency. After a few seconds, when the bubbles have risen and left the water, the gas content decreases. The medium approaches a pure liquid again. This increases its sound velocity and thus the frequency of the sound again. In the literature, you will also find this phenomenon under the name Cappuccino effect.